Hey guys, uh, this is Briscoe. I'm uh, the other half of the Alexis on Fire account on Pojo. Uh, the other half, of course, being Josh, who uh, I'm sure most of you should subscribe to by now if you play GBs. You can find the link over there to uh, his channel. Go ahead and subscribe to that. Uh, so, anyway, I've got uh, a few things I want to talk about in this video to uh, GB players. Um, first of all, it's more of a general. Uh, piece of advice um, I want to give deck count. A lot of people think that if you're going over 40, uh, that's a terrible thing to do. But that is absolutely wrong so long as you are not doing it for no reason. Um, you know, if you're, say for example, you've got a deck, it's at 42 cards, you've got nothing to drop, everything's pissed and great. And, you know, you randomly throw in a dust shoot, you find every time you draw it, you love it. So it's no big deal to just throw in that dust shoot for 43. Okay, that's not gonna affect anything. If you draw the dust shoot, then you know obviously that's good. You've already determined you always like dust shoot when you get it. That's fine. If you don't draw the dust shoot, it's not affecting any other you know thing in your deck because you know obviously everything above dust shoot you're gonna draw anyway, whether dust shoot is there or not. So you know if dust shoot is 10 cards down in your deck you know it's not going to affect your opening hand or your next three turns you're going to draw whatever um, okay so uh, so I mean yeah basically just as long as you're not adding in cards that you can say well I don't know if I always like this card you know just ask yourself do I always like drawing this card and if you do you can add it in you know it's no big deal you can run 45 you can run 50 whatever just don't add in dead cards it you know 40 or 30 or 50 percent of the time, whatever, you're going to draw it and say, I really wish I had this next card that's not this card that I added in, because now this is, you know, a sixth of my hand and it's dead. So, uh, second, Starlight Road. This card is incredible. You should all be running at least two, but I prefer three a lot of the time. Um, the thing is, this card is so game breaking because it is a plus one at the least. It gives you a huge body that makes any play you want safer. Um, but most importantly, it helps your Light Sworn match up in Game 1, which is a huge thing. Even though Light Sworn is not the biggest deck in the meta right now, it's still huge. Um, so if you look, it hits Celestia, it hits uh, Judgment Dragon, it, it hits uh, Heavy Storm, Mirror Force, Torrential, um, you know, all those. So even if it's just sitting there doing nothing, you know, maybe they have a storm in their hand or a mirror force down or something, but they're not playing because they know, you know, it's gonna minus one of them. So it's still accomplishing something even if it's not getting activated. Um, you know, even, I mean, you know, it lets you overextend if you want to. You know, if you have a game-winning play you can make right there. You know, um, because you don't have to worry about mirror torrential even if they do have it. You know, where. Most of the time you'd say, well, if they have Mirror Torrential, you know, I don't want to do this. I'll just hit for, you know, 60% of their life. Hopefully they won't get a monster on their next turn and, you know, I can finish them off. You can just summon it. If they don't have it, then, you know, you win anyway. But if they do have it, it doesn't matter because then you, you win the game even more, obviously. So, you know, it gives you more confidence. You can make the plays, you know, without having to worry about your reader, you know, if you read it right or not. And also, even when you don't draw it, once they know that you are running it, you know, they'll be worried. You know, you, they can say, well, you know, do I want to activate the storm right now and go for, you know, Cat and Belt into Double Air Bell into his clear field? You know, maybe I'll Starlight Road. I'll lose my storm and get a Stardust. I'll have no plays, you know. So, third thing, uh, Mirror Force, Storm, Torrential Tribute, I don't think you should be running them in this format. They're obviously very good cards, but... If you get hit by a Starlight Road, you probably will lose the game. You can easily say, you know, well, I have Book, I have Shrink, I have Compulsor, I have Prison, whatever. But, I mean, you know, you're already minus one yourself when they activate Road. And then you're wasting defense cards to get over Stardust Dragon. And keep in mind that in any case besides Smashing Ground, which, as a side note, I don't think is worth playing anymore. Um, and, you know, Dimensional Prison. But you won't always be getting over the Stardust Dragon with a Book of Moon or an enemy controller or, you know, stuff like that. So you can't assume that, and even if you do, you're still 
losing a defense card if you don't have another one, you know. They can just drop fire dog, drop a random life or monster, whatever. It screws you over. Um, the cards are not that game breaking anymore to warrant the risk of this because really if someone gets off a starlight road against you, you just lose. But on the other hand, if you get off a uh, mirror to rental, you know, that doesn't mean you win. I mean, a lot of times it's not even going to be overly relevant as the game goes on, unless it's like, you know, they're at like 32 or something, and, you know, you mirror force, their field gets cleared, and, uh, you know, you can push for a game. Um, Storm, you know, obviously that's an exception to that statement, because it clears plays, or uh, clears fields, you know, you can make prison plays and whatever, but, you know, if they do have the Starlight Road, then... You basically just lose because now you know you can't get your prison play off. So unless you have a book or you know some way to get rid of the stardust right then and there, and they also don't have any more back rows that can still screw up your prison play even if you do have a book on the stardust. You know you're not going to be in a good position. So you'll probably find that they're going to be dead a lot and they're going to lose you a lot of games and. The amount of games they lose is going to be a lot bigger than the amount of games they win. Um, the um, I want to talk about Cat really quick. I don't think Cat is good to run at all. You have to dedicate you know at least three slots in your deck to it, and it just adds dead draws and it doesn't really accomplish all that much. You know, I mean occasionally you can go Cat into Double Sam Knight and you know get off a good play, but it's usually not going to be game winning. You know, you're still going to need a lot of support to win the game just with that play, and the dead draws adds is not worth it. Uh, lastly, uh, random thing, uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, the game corner, I'm really pissed off. They got rid of the ability to buy coins and replaced it with this incredibly frustrating thing called Voltorb Flip. And while theoretically it is a pretty straightforward game, the computer absolutely hates everybody, and it randomly places Voltorbs at intersections of like 8161. If you've ever played it, you'll know what that means. So, yeah, it pretty much makes uh, Thunderbolt nice to be an impossible game worse than one of. And that's why I will not be raising a Starmie in this game. Um, and then also, uh, if you're into jazz or hip hop, I just found this album from this guy who sadly died about six weeks ago, rest in peace. Uh, his name is uh, Nujibes, and he's a uh, Japanese guy. I mean, all the rapping is in uh, English, but uh, but he's Japanese, and uh, this album is called Metaphorical Music. It's got like uh, you know jazz stylings to it in the instrumentation, but uh, you know it's the lyricism is all rap. It's really smooth, really well executed. Uh, you know, it's probably my favorite album right now. Uh, you know, maybe besides like Cowboy Bebop, which I also love because I really love saxophone. There's a ton of it on there. But uh, so yeah, check that album out. Uh, everything you heard about will be over there in the comments box. And uh, yeah, subscribe to me. Subscribe to Josh, which is the TCC player. And uh, if you have any questions, DM me. I'll see if I can give a video. See ya.